Hey there, today we're going to be showing off the Thumper, which underwent some serious changes in the last update, primarily to its behavior and projectile speed. But this went from being one of my least favorite weapons in the game, to a contender as one of the best explosive options you can run into. Especially compared to like the Beluga Cannon that has zero fall off. It is a good change though, this is still a very good change. Definitely not the like strongest explosive in the game now, but it is It's more than viable This is definitely gonna be one of those weapons where you might not like jump for joy when you see it But you know if, if it drops a fantastic or perp or epic variety like variant for you that has rolls that you want It is definitely a viable pick. I Am a fan of this weapon so for anyone wondering what the behavioral change actually was on this thing, they changed it from a bouncing projectile to a projectile that detonates on impact, which is such a good change in my opinion. It finally feels good. Of course, like with most commando explosive builds, we're going to take baby boom for those extra explosions. This is always a must have when it comes to explosive builds for both its viability and because of the power fantasy it gives the player. I mean, come on, who doesn't like more explosions? Take the power cell. Funny. Um, I'm not gonna upgrade this quite yet. I'm gonna put a lot of faith in finding a better one. Like, more faith than I probably should put into it, but it is what it is. I don't want to really invest too much into a green variant, you know what I mean? I was content with my current thumper. It could get the job done because the weapon itself is just solid now, after the update, but I was really holding out hope for a blue rarity version in the very near future. Blue is when weapons really shine, because the affixes associated with that rarity will drastically change and improve the weapon's performance by altering its behavior in major ways. I especially wanted to put Mega Boom on my weapon because of the buff it received to its blast radius in this latest update as well. We'd have to wait and see when the time came for us to put it on our weapon if it would actually be worth taking over something like Fragments, for example. We got that little guy back there. Don't worry, I didn't forget about you. How could I? Like powder. All right. Hate that room. Which one? The one that I died in my last run in the fields. First one with the elite at the end. That's a tough one for me. Live a tough one for me. I think we take salt shaker here. Um, and then we absolutely take candle and flower pot. Wow, big finds. We also had another thumper, but it wasn't of a higher rarity, so that was rather unfortunate. Definitely was not going to take uh, that over salt shaker. We decided to go Ruins like I do for most of my non-elemental focus builds, but this time, Ruins held even more treasure for us, aside from the free upgrade point. In the latest update, they also changed it so that the chest in the sewers always spawns a purple rarity weapon. Now, the odds were slim, but hey, it's another chance at a thumper with some blue affixes on it. I'm curious to see how Mega Boom, uh, the Mega Boom buff, would... How that would go with a Baby Boom elephant gun <laughs> with Atomic Mushroom on it. That could probably be pretty funny. I've been really enjoying this update and the changes it brought. A lot of weapons got buffs and only a few nerfs were dished out. Now, they said that they want to make sure that all the weapons and balancing changes in future updates are kind of focusing on bringing weaker weapons up to the same level as stronger weapons, because it feels good to be strong. And in my opinion, that's a great philosophy to the development cycle of this game. If you want to see all the changes that were included in the January update, make sure to check out my video covering it all. Uh, I do think this update was really good for Ruins, though, for any of my Ruins enjoyers in chat. Ruins got a pretty substantial buff. Now you can go here for a guaranteed purple item, or a purple weapon, I mean. Because now the uh, sewers chest in the gold area guarantees a purple weapon drop, which is really nice.
Uh, what do I want here? I could take self control or Rob Zerker. Rob Zerker could be very nice, honestly. I think I am gonna take Rob Zerker. Actually. Give it here. Ooh. No thumper. Unlucky. Oh well. Yeah. Increasing armor is pretty solid. I'm gonna take that. Now, we took Rob Zerker because I was a little bit rusty. I play a lot of different games, and this is my first time playing RoboQuest in a while, so I wasn't as confident in my ability to slip my way past Death's Loving Embrace as I normally was. So Rob Zerker would give me the strength to reject the Embrace through any means possible. In this case, the means will be a 35% damage buffed grenade to the face whenever I take damage. Flamefly nukes your HP. Is that the uh, the little flamethrower dudes? Because yeah, those little those little bastards are my my greatest fear. Alright, we'll take power cell and bow tie. Yes, please. I will absolutely take them. We love bow tie here. It's an item that is universally strong and belongs in every single build. It's great for bossing and taking down Goliaths. Having that 30% increase to damage is very noticeable, and there's honestly never a reason to not take this item. Unless, of course, it's in like a weapon chest and you end up finding that paired alongside a kunai or something, but those instances are going to be very few and far between. We do have Kazoo, so it would be nice to find Toaster here. This weapon's blast radius is good, but I've been spoiled by the pre-nerf Beluga Cannon's blast radius, so it felt as if the blast radius of this weapon was a bit smaller than I'd like. I was really hoping for a blue version of this weapon soon so I could roll Mega Boom onto it because it felt like I was still isolating my targets when focusing them instead of having the ability to take multiple enemies out at once. It is still a very strong weapon though, and it took out those single isolated targets pretty quick. This is really strong already. Like this is this is only a green thumper, but it is putting in some work right now. Damn it. Where is it? There it is. I don't know if I want to take scanning burst or just hold out for hope that we get a uh, the item that allows us to apply uh, what's it called marks. The item I'm talking about here is bowl. The reason I want it is because I don't want to have to spend a skill point on scanning capabilities when I could be spending it on something like hot potato for faster reloads or more direct damage through something like top quality. Don't you? Okay, good. I was about to say, don't you dare tell me another green thumper just dropped in front of me. That would be so disrespectful. We've done fine in the ad clear department so far this run. It could definitely be better, but like I said, I was holding out on upgrading this thing in hopes of finding a higher rarity one. It's all about that power cell management after all. It could be better for sure. We'd see how it would fare against our first boss though. We put a few points into it just for the increased damage. I hope that I can find a blue thumper here pretty soon because I don't want to invest any any more heavily into it. Billy, slow it down. He did need that health upgrade. Like even now he's dropping pretty fast. So I do think he did need the health upgrade. I think that's a totally fine buff for him. Palliation, deal 50 damage and apply high impact. I don't need that. I don't need that. Um 
could take crit damage. And then that will help us with, uh, if we find Poppy later on, that'll help us tremendously. Did I know you were alive? How's the Thumper Runs going? They're going. I keep choking. I, the build keeps getting online, and as soon as it gets online, I get overzealous and just kill myself. Like a moron. That's that's tough. That's tough right there. Tough choices. Overconfidence. It's a slow but insidious killer. Unless you're playing Robo Quest, then that's a pretty quick one. They should add an item that makes it so you don't get knocked back from your own explosions. And then that would open up a lot of possibilities, like running um, close combat, for instance. That would be really strong, so maybe they shouldn't add it. And I know a lot of people like to benefit from the, uh, the movement of using your own uh, rockets and like explosions to propel yourself. I do that all the time as well. Definitely very good. Yeah, I meant to say point blank there. I still think it would be cool if you could have an option, like, you know, items are optional to pick up. It would be cool if there was an item in the game that would decrease the amount that you're knocked back or just nullify it altogether to benefit from perks like this. You know, it adds some flavor to the game. It's rather niche. I think they should add an item that does that. Kaboom grenade, get that out of here. Get that out of here. I will take the power saw. I just passed up a purple windmill rifle. Even on explosive builds, it's very tempting. All right, let's not kill ourselves this time. Play a little bit more reserved. By reserved, I mean miss all of our shots. There we go. Lucky powder. Yes. We'll take one. More auto crit, baby. Keep feeding the fire. We'll take the power cells and honestly fire is not taking it. Those. I wanted to save my power cells for when I either came across that higher rarity thumper I've been wanting, or for more explosive items. It's still very early in the run, but we really weren't benefiting from any explosive items at this point. In terms of showing off this weapon's raw strength, this was almost as bare bones as it could get, save for the uh, candle item we have that increases burn and explosive damage by 10%, but really that pales in comparison to something like banana or perfume. Honestly, these are both items that I can do without this early in the run, because they both hurt our ad clear potential, but significantly improve our single target damage, which is what we want to focus on more in the end game when we get around to Haven 8 or District 13. Okay. Bit of a beefy room.
God damn. Could really benefit from some blast radius here. Mega boom? Question mark. Just any blue rare. <laughs> Any blue variant thumper will do. But then it'll kill any speed with explosions. Well, I mean, that's why you make it an item. You don't have to take it. You don't have to. Baby Rob Zerker. Uh, top quality or hot potato right now? Um, I'll probably take hot potato right now. Because we're, we're finally at that point where we don't need to dig anymore. I thought I was digging too much there. Just non elemental damage. Yikes. Yeah, we'll take it. We'll take it. Real shame. Real shame. You know what? I'm gonna reroll. Can I get cadence on this? I do have cadence. Okay. Let's go. Hopefully, at the halfway point, we'll be able to get something good out of that chest or have some good items to spend uh, power cells on. Oh, we're feeling that cadence. We're feeling cadence right now. I should have rolled that onto this a while ago. Yeah, this is still our same old green thumper that we haven't really invested too much into, but because we slapped cadence on for the 15% increased fire rate, it feels like a completely different weapon. I definitely should have rolled that on a while ago. gonna be a tough call for what we take last I'm thinking we just maybe take uh, if we have scanning burst but not top quality then we'll take it and then vice versa but if we have to choose bet between the two it's gonna be a bit of a tougher call hopefully I can find an external application of mark or then I would make it much simpler Oh my god. Unless I die again. I am just... I'm not performing too well in the energy labs today, boys. I'm really doing a number on me. Gotta play it a little better. Another purple windmill. Another one. Um, we do have kazoo, so toaster is a huge pick there. Toaster is a huge pick there. Um, is this considered heavy? No, it's not. Of course, it's not. Flying out here. You seeing this? Uh, okay, let's try to do, let's get this show on the road. Um, we want tactical pocket probably.
I just shot a rocket and it just like never exploded or anything. It just kind of got sucked into that wall there and it just disappeared forever. Here we go. Our trials and tribulations begin once more. These rooms are always the scariest in every run. As oh, I man. say frequently in my videos, I think Energy Lab is hands down the hardest area in the entire game. I think it's way harder than Moon, just because by the time you get to Moon, you have so much in your kit to work with to deal with all those ads. But here at Energy Labs, your build isn't fully put together, and I find it incredibly challenging to deal with all this stuff this early on. Out. Okay. There we go. I always gotta make it to the end safely. Keep it going. All right. Well, that was a tough energy labs right there. That was a bit stressful. And we have Judge Ball. We have Judge Ball. Please give me a blue thumper after this. Please give me a blue thumper. Unchained is pretty good. That's more fire rate in the bag. Yeah, I'm gonna take it. I'll take it. You understand the arenas are quite deadly? Yes, they are. Speaking of Kaboom Grenade, just did a run with only that. Went rather well for being for getting Beta Royale, although I didn't torture myself by using Recon with it. Yeah, it probably would have worked a little bit better if I did that video with Commando, but I you know, I did it with Recon out of pure principle at that point. Okay, okay. Banana time, let's go. I will take that happily. Okay, this is where things get a little tough, right? I only have one perk reroll token. You know what? It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Please, God, let there be a blue thumper. Oh, we are just really low in the uh, damage department here, <laughs> and uh, I need to upgrade this thing. Wow, what a guess. Bit of an outdated weapon right now.
No thumper. Hell yeah, let's go. No thumper. Who needs a thumper? I'll clear the area and then I will upgrade if I don't. I'll upgrade. Will I though? Am I just gonna keep lying to myself? We're gonna wait. We're gonna wait to see what kind of other items we can get our hands on. Ugly tie, yes please. All right, let's see what's in the last shop and then we'll double back for stuff if we need to. Ouch. Stings a little bit. Making this very hard on myself by just not upgrading this thing. shop right over here let's see what we got okay frog prince is solid and we're gonna have to upgrade all right well we should notice a difference It was a bit sad that I had to upgrade my thumper so many times because I just wanted the blue or purple variant. How could it be so hard to find one? How could it elude me for so long? But honestly, I didn't mind that much because I was really, really excited to see the direct increase to damage after upgrading it so many times back to back to back. The difference was immediately noticeable. Once we do get this run complete though, you guys want to see some more Risk of Rain Returns? I picked that up yesterday and played it a little bit on stream, and that was pretty fun. I either want to do that or Binding of Isaac, because, as I said earlier, I still have never played Binding of Isaac, and people always tell me how good it is. So I did buy it, but I haven't played it yet. This is 11.16. Emily, what's your uh, lunch schedule looking like today? Because after I get this run done, I might hang it up and get us some lunch or something. But if not, then I'll do some Risk of Rain or Fighting of Isaac. Lemon or Power Cells? What do we have? The bolts, right? We have Lollipop. I'm gonna take Cryo, yo. Probably not the smartest decision, but I'm still gonna do it. And I'll, we can also take lemon. We are running Rob Zerker here, so we are benefiting from taking damage, even though, you know, ideally we don't take damage. And I guess we'll take Scanning Burst. We'll take the Triple Bounce.
Hopefully we can uh, secure perfume, yeah? Perfume would be nice. Get away from me, you flamethrower. I hate those guys so much. And there's bag. We do have hot potato, so bag is actually an absolute dud. We do take bag. It is a real shame uh, because we would have. No, oh, it's whatever. It's whatever. I'm not gonna think too hard on it. It would have been nice to have top quality since we have bag now, but the scan provides way more benefit. powder yes yeah lemon and Rob Zerker are pairing beautifully together I could really feel that And we still have a booster on it. Keep in mind, is, isn't this the same thumper we got out of the chest? I could be wrong. All my runs are kind of just blending together, but isn't this the thumper we got out of the chest? Finally, after I spent like a lot of cells, Actually, that's not even that bad of a roll. Spiky with Freak Wheel is not a bad roll. And it has Cadence, or no, it has Quick Wheel. Spiky would make it better for Iris Phase 2. But I don't know, do I wanna, do I wanna spend do I want to gamble away all my cells trying to get a, like a, a better roll? I'll wait till we get to the moon for that. See what's on sale. If I don't like what's on sale, then yeah, we'll move on. I should take monocle here. All right, let's roll. This is my first time actually fighting the uh, post buff Uncle Jim. Yeah, he's got a little bit more health. He does have a little bit more health. Um, get throw damage. Sure, I guess I'll do that. We are doing. We are throwing it quite a bit, so. Extra health, huh? Yeah. <laughs> he has more health, yes. Believe it or not. Okay, those are kind of... Wow, we don't even have... Uh, we don't even have Chef Bob here. I can't even re-roll it. I'm lucky.
Come here. You will have hell rain down upon you from the heavens. Chew on that for a bit. And I do want fire rate. Yep, we want fire rate. Good. We just ate a bunch of damage right there. Because we accidentally head bonked someone and got stuck. We are playing a dangerous game right here. Dancing between the lines of death there, huh? All right, Chef Bob. First of all, I'm stupid because I still don't know if uh, Iris counts as a turret or not in phase one. You want to upgrade? Do I want to reroll? I think that's a good roll for this fight. I'm going to take it, and I'm going to keep it. Uh, am I, though? No. We do have a cryo, yo. Yo, hold up. What? Cryo? The spiky? And I have cryo? No, no, no. I don't want to do that. I don't want to. Decided against it. Mega Boom Ricochet, Spiky Mega Boom, Cadence, Warm Up Spiky. Guys, I've butchered it. I've butchered it. No. That is fine. We don't need Mega Boom anymore. We don't need Mega Boom anymore, but you know, I'll run with it. We had just fumbled so many good rolls. Honestly, I'm not sure how strong it would have been, but the Cryo Spiky roll would have been very interesting in this build because we had the Cryo Yo, and I should have taken it out of pure interest value. Instead, we were entering the fight with an incredibly average roll on our weapon, but so far, this weapon has proven that it doesn't need to have a good roll to pull its weight. We're feeling the loss of Cadence, though. That's the main reason I started re-rolling it, is so that we could get Cadence again. But alas, we did not. Okay. Let's see how phase two goes. I flew too close to the sun, I know, I know. I forget, does it? This one doesn't have, yeah, okay, it doesn't have Mega Boom. Unlucky, I knocked myself back into it. I keep getting it. Uh, my knockbacks are really hurting me here. It's fine. We pulled it off. 31 minutes on a less than ideal run.
Thumpers, the thumper change is definitely nice though. And that's the run. Let me know how you guys like the new thumper or what your favorite weapon changes update was below. Thank you so much for watching this video. And if you enjoyed it, please consider leaving a like, comment, and subscribing as it does really help out the channel. And I appreciate it immensely. If you ever want to hang out live, check out my Twitch in the description below. I hope you all have a great day. I'm Hatterax, signing off. Peace. It is great. Now, ideally, um, we could get like, uh, what's it called? I think freewheel with fragments and cadence would probably be my go-to. I think I would like that the most. Freewheel fragments and cadence. That's probably what I would have wanted there as my god roll. And then obviously we didn't have perfume, so we could have gotten more damage out of perfume, and we didn't have poppy, and we could have gotten a lot more damage out if we had poppy. Uh, and we also weren't running... Ideally, we swap out Scanning Burst for the other item, I forget what it is, that gives us marking capabilities, and then we instead take Top Quality, and then Top Quality has uh, increased auto crit chance as well, and, you know, send in, or, like, what? Send increase, I don't know. It has increased damage. It can be for, like, half of the map. So, yeah, there we go. That'll, that'll be that. Let's get on the brain, then. A lot of people really seem to not like binding of isaac nobody ever wants me to play binding of isaac. it's only maybe i'll play binding of isaac off